एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर सेगमेंट क्लीन ई लॉन्च नॉलेज पॉड टुडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इनटू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ क्लिनिकल रिसर्च स्टडीज दीज स्टडीज प्ले अ वाइटल रोल इन एडवांसिंग मेडिसिन बट फॉर मेनी दे कैन सीम कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड कंफ्यूजिंग बट फियर नॉट वी इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द रोड मैप टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिफरेंट स्टडी टाइप्स एंड हाउ एंड पॉइंट आर डिफाइंड first things first let's explore the two main categories of clinical research studies first one being the interventional studies of clinical trials and the second one being the observational studies now let's deep dive into them interventional studies are those type of studies you might think of first researchers actively intervene here with participants giving them new treatments or new medications devices or even testing new surgical approaches for the disease the goal here is to assess the safety and effectiveness of the intervention compared to a control group which is receiving or which might receive a standard treatment sometimes they also receive a placebo which is an inactive substance there are several types of interventional studies we have the treatment trials where evaluating the effectiveness of new treatments for specific diseases is taken care of then we have the prevention trials where we look for ways to stop diseases from developing in the first place itself now here this could involve testing vaccines or lifestyle changes or even other preventive measures then we have the diagnostic trials where we develop new methods to identify and diagnose diseases more accurately and more efficiently last but not the least we have screening trials where we do the figuring out of best ways to detect diseases early on often it is conducted in healthy populations where we choose a healthy volunteer and have trials running on him coming up next we have the observational studies here the researchers observe participants without directly influencing their care they might track participants over time analyze medical records or even conduct surveys to understand the risk factors the disease progression or treatment outcomes there are three main types of observational studies cohort studies case control studies and cross sectional studies In the cohort studies we follow groups of people over time comparing them with those who have a certain condition to those who don't this helps identify the risk factors that are involved within this clinical trial and also the risk factors of those diseases then we have the case control studies comparing people with a specific condition or a case to those who have without it that means a control group to identify potential causes of this particular disease last but not the least we have the cross sectional studies researchers take a snapshot of a population at one point in time to understand the prevalence of this disease or the prevalence of these risk factors usually this population is considered to be a healthy population in which the risk factors are checked for Now let's talk about endpoints in a clinical study. These are the specific measurements researchers use to assess the success of a study. They could be primary endpoints or secondary endpoints. Primary endpoints, the main outcome the study is designed to measure. This could be improvement in a disease marker or reduction in a symptom or even a survival rate through that disease. moving next we have the secondary endpoint additional measurements that provide further information like side effects the quality of life improvements or the cost effectiveness of a treatment so let's move on to the importance of endpoints clearly defined endpoints are very crucial for several reasons they focus the study ensuring that everyone involved including researchers participants and regulators understand what is being measured they also measure success which allow research to objectively compare the intervention to the control group and determine the effectiveness of this treatment or of this drug they also improve patient care 
which leads to better treatment options and ultimately improved patient outcomes. So remember, understanding the different types of clinical research studies and how endpoints are defined empowers you to be a more informed participant in your own healthcare. If you are considering to join a clinical trial, you can ask questions about the study design, the endpoints and potential risks and benefits involved in this clinical trial. Remember, clinical research is vital for medical progress. If you have ever benefited from a new medication or a treatment, it likely came from a clinical study. So if you ever have the opportunity to, to participate in one, consider it. It is a chance to contribute to the scientific advancement and potentially improve the lives of others, including your own. Thanks for joining me on this journey through clinical research studies. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and I will do my best to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more science content related to clinical research and clinical trials. Thank you everyone.